Before starting a painting, we need to think about what techniques will be most suited to the subject. I struggled to decide with this snake's head fritillary because of the pattern on the petals. I could have used masking fluid or wax resist or even salt, but I decided to go with lifting out. I wasn't that happy with my painting overall and there are things that I would do differently next time. I began with a very light pencil drawing, then applied quinacridine red to the flowers and let it dry so that when I lifted off the darker layers later it will be the pink underneath rather than the white of the paper. My snake's head fritillaries or Fritalia miriliagris to give it its proper name are now flowering in the garden. They're a tough little bulb that can be grown in a flower bed or naturalised amongst the grass which is where I have them and they flower year after year. What I do with mine is I treat them very much like any other bulb, like a daffodil. I let them die back before I cut them back so that energy goes back into the bulb for next year. So the drawing itself was quite straightforward as the flowers are quite geometric with lots of angles, giving them a very distinct look. The bulb, the, sorry, the bud, the second one, is almost a diamond shape. Um, and the open flower almost fits into a square and they've got the very, very quite acute angles on the top of them. The stems are very long and look quite delicate but are actually quite tough. So they look very delicate but they're much tougher than they are. We had some very high winds the other day and it didn't bother them at all, touch wood. So I'll list the colours that I used down in the description along with everything else that I'm using. Um, I wasn't too happy with my colour choices. I think that I should have chosen more purple hues. I used a Bocking Flood block, the £140 cold press one, and a size 6 brush. You will see I changed my brush when I did some lifting out. The brush that I'm using is a sable brush, and when I lift out, I always use a, syn a synthetic brush, which is much easier to lift paint out with. So I felt that the contrast between my lightest areas and my darkest areas wasn't strong enough at the end, which is why I added, added some coloured pencils. But also the coloured pencils gave me the opportunity to do a bit more drawing and to sort of sharpen up some of my edges and lines. So I had another go at doing a single flower, completely wet in wet and lifting colour out whilst it was still wet. In hindsight, I think I would have preferred this method. Some days things just don't go to plan, but we can always learn something from it, even if it's what not to do next time. So one thing I'll definitely be doing though is planting more of these charming flowers. Mm -hmm.